Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will share with you the recipe of paneer bhurji. Heat the kadai and add some oil and add some butter. Once it is hot, add some cumin seeds, bay leaf, cinnamon and cardamom. Now add chopped onion. Mix it nicely. Once the onion turns little translucent, add some ginger garlic paste. Mix it well and cook it till the raw smell of the ginger garlic fades off. The raw smell of the ginger garlic has faded off. Now add some turmeric powder, little red chilli powder, cumin powder, some coriander powder, some basin that is gram flour. Now mix it well and let the masalas get cooked for a minute or two. Now add tomato puree. Mix it well. Add some salt and give it a mix. You can add little water at this stage so that the masalas doesn't get burned. Now cover it and let it get cooked for some time. The masalas are getting cooked on a low flame for around 5 minutes. Let's check it. You can see the masala started separating oil and it is cooked very nicely. Now at this stage add some chopped capsicum. Give it a mix. Now add some water. Now cover it again and let it get cooked for some time. I have taken around 200 gram of paneer. Now scramble this paneer. Let's check it. Now at this stage add the scrambled paneer. Mix it well. You can see the gravy has thickened. Since I have added basin so it give a binding structure to this gravy. Add some crushed Kasuri methi, some garam masala powder, and give it a mix. Finally, add some chopped coriander leaves and a little sugar to give a balancing taste. Mix everything well. We'll just wait for around a minute till the sugar gets dissolved, and then we'll be done. So, our paneer bhurji is done. Now let's switch off the flame and serve it. So here is our paneer bhurji. It tastes really good with pav or chapati and even with rice. Do try this recipe and let me know if you liked it. Thank you for watching this video. Have a good day. Bye bye.